All right, we're at uh, go to math.com and we're working some calculus and we're evaluating limits analytically. So let's take a look at this one here. We got the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 12x minus 45 over x minus 3. So let's go over to the board. All right, so let me uh, rewrite this. We have, we've got the um, we're going to do this in blue today. I know, we'll try this out. We have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 12x minus 45. And it's all over x minus 3. So if we were to do the direct substitution, we're going to end up getting a 0 in the bottom and 0 in the top, which uh, means that we probably are going to be able to uh, factor some stuff out and cancel. So let's, let's actually do that. Um, let's factor that numerator. So it takes a little practice getting your uh, algebra skills up to par here. Well, we need two numbers to multiply together to give us 45, and when we add them, we get 12. Let's try 15 and 3. How's that? And of course, this is going to be a minus, and that's going to be plus. So the bigger number is going to give you the plus there and then the minus. So you could look at it this way. Well, we know that um, we know that uh, what do we know? Six times nine. Let's know forty-five. We have forty-five. Um, forty-five. Nine times five. Right. Nine times five is forty-five. And we know that this couldn't be a nine, and that couldn't be a five, because remember we add them together. We got to get a twelve. So you can factor that 9. Let's do this. I think this is kind of how I did it. And so we have 3 times 15. Well, we know that's 45, and we know also that if we were to subtract these guys, we could get 12. So that's how I did it anyway. So now what we can do is cancel out some like terms, and now we can go ahead and rewrite this limit. And I'll do that. We have the limit now as x approaches 3 of x plus 15. You can put parentheses around that if you want. And now we can go ahead and do the direct substitution, plugging 3 directly in. And what do we get? 15, 16, 17, 18. Right. So our limit is equal to 18. Now let's head back over to the page. And we got 18. Isn't that what we got? I've already forgotten what we got. Yeah, 18. Okay, good. And then, of course, come over here, hit help. And I kind of explain what's going on in here, just like I worked out on the board. Right, so that's some really good help. All right. So remember, the uh, you do the direct substitution, we get 0 over 0. So we want to try to factor, cancel out like terms, and then do the direct substitution.